The ruling says that there were egregious, that's the word, egregious errors made by the trial judge in this case. It seems that the primary reason that this case has been overturned has to do with the judge allowing other women who were not part of the charges in this case, that they were allowed to testify to what we lawyers call prior bad acts, that is, acts they said were sexual assault done by Harvey Weinstein. What the highest court of New York says is that that evidence was so unduly prejudicial that its admission changed the course of the trial because the jury was looking at Harvey Weinstein, looking at his character, this propensity to act, and not looking at the crimes that were charged in New York. It, it sounds like you are not all that surprised as a legal expert seeing how the case unfolded that we're here today. Yes, that is correct. I was not surprised as a lawyer, but I am sure society is surprised. Keep in mind this. He still is doing 16 years for convictions for similar crimes in California.